Morgan. Hi, sweetie. Welcome back, all of our loyal viewers, to yeah. Talking with Karens. <laughs> this is Sorry, my I'm... Oh. It's my favorite week. Oh, mine too. My Zoom cut out. Our Wi Fi is being spotty. <laughs> spotty. That's like me when I'm on my period. Just kidding. I went through menopause last year. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. You were a bitch. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Oh, sorry, I'm not. Sorry, I'm not as uh, put together, sweetie. I just got back from the gym because gyms are open now. Woohoo! Oh boy, that's fantastic. I love um, going there. I love going to anywhere really that's coated in other people's sweat. It, it's so intimate. Yes, I just go to get a smoothie from the smoothie bar, walk on the treadmill for a minute, and then oogle Enrique, the Zumba instructor. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, you dog. You I know. Dog. I'm a married woman, but oh, I just hit myself in the face. Maybe that was the Lord telling me not to oogle. You better not oogle, Karen. You better not <laughs> oogle. Cheat every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> just like Keith, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right, so how about we get to the news? Oh, sounds good. Sweetie, you want to go first? Absolutely. Uh, so Amy Cooper uh, has been fired from her job, had her dog taken away from her, and is banned from Central Park after a video of her uh, calling the police on a black man for no reason went viral. Um, but I, I have to say, I do have a little sympathy. I call the cops on a daily basis, and I don't, I don't really see anything wrong with it. The world is very scary. So, you know, for instance, this week I called 911 because... Uh, uh, well, a group of children uh, put several Mentos into a bottle of Pepsi, building a, a bomb of sorts. And uh, I was told this was not considered illegal. So now we have terrorists on the loose, apparently. Um, let's see. Legal. Legal terrorists. Legal terrorists, which is just haunting. Um, what else? Uh, oh, a, a very small, hairy man was loitering menacingly outside my house. And it, it does turn out that he was, uh, in fact, a squirrel, but I don't, you know, I don't see why he can't be reprimanded because of that. Um, what else? Braxton was watching The Joker, and I do not like that movie. Uh, so that was awful. They didn't do anything about that either. Um, and, oh, yes, the main one. I saw my African-American neighbor handling a cocaine through the window. I saw this, and the cops did come and found that he was actually just measuring some flour to make cookies, but uh, he, he was arrested for that. So at least justice was served in some way. Mm -hmm. Oh, Karen, you are a hero. I know, I know it's hard being me, but I try my best to keep my community safe. Ah, oh, speaking of community, cause you know, the US, we're one big happy family. Um, uh, the US has a private island up for sale for 250 thousand dollars now i called keith immediately and i was like hear me out honey if we don't send the kids to college we can just buy an island and we can send katie and her little lesbian girlfriend there i mean oh it'd be so happy for them and for me because i wouldn't have to live in a house of sin That's uh, and you know they could go off and do their little whatever, scissoring, scissoring, whatever it is, off of in, in private, as it should be. Yes. Yes. Oh, Karen, I'm drinking a White Claw today. I'm oh, hip. Goodness. Isn't that what the college kids are all drinking? Yes. I have to pee every 20 minutes, which is not unusual for me, but I'm blaming it on the White Claw this time. <laughs> Uh, you must be going through another, uh, midlife crisis. I know it happens to you once every few months. <laughs> That's what I prescribed Valium for. Woohoo! <laughs> Indeed. All right. So President Trump, uh, apparently announced that he is terminating the U.S.'s relationship with the World Health Organization, uh, claiming that it is totally controlled by China and is misleading the public. And you know, this, this reminds me of a few years ago uh, when I stopped seeing my doctor because he had the nerve to tell me that the reason I kept getting UTIs is because my ex-husband Jeff doesn't wash his penis. Excuse me? 
Sir, it is none of your business. If my family and I don't trust big soap, sorry, we're not going to give in to you uh, and your chemicals and your, your, your science. I will say, Karen, that body butter that you made me gave me hives, but I've never been smoother. It's, uh, it's from my own body, a lot of the ingredients are, and that's where they should come from. That's, I feel closer to you just knowing that. Oh, but something that's farther from everybody. Oh, me and my puns. Uh, the United States sent astronauts up in the air again for the first time in a decade. <laughs> Is oh. that social distancing or what? <laughs> I want to go to the moon. <laughs> social distancing because of the, the space wow wow Karen, you are just so funny tonight ah uh, it's all that white claw karen it's really getting to me <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> uh you know who else is acting kind of crazy uh president trump uh he's he's in a feud with twitter after they hid one of his tweets and fact checked several others uh, it, it's led him to sign an executive order, which could weaken legal protections for social media companies. Um, and you know, Karen, I, for one, am on the president's side. I mean, where, where does Twitter, where does Jack get off on deciding what the truth is? The only one who can decide that is God, the big man upstairs, okay? And if they keep this up, I'm worried about what's going to happen to my Alex Jones fans account, okay? That's one of the only reasons that I... I live. I am so passionate about him. He made me realize to stay away from frogs because I might get to the gay. Like, he's helped me so much in my life. I don't know what's going to happen if Twitter know. shuts that down. He was really a crutch for you when, when Jeff left. Yeah, he still is. Sometimes isn't your, isn't your uh, vibrator named Alex Jones? Or any you dog but anyway it's i should not be allowed to drink this <laughs> the mouth on me keith's gonna find out later i'm kidding <laughs> anyway oh lady gaga dropped some new music recently and it has been the only thing that my daughter katie plays in the shower oh. and i think it's a little curious she plays it in the shower but then again the shower does rain on me. That's one of the songs. I'm so hip. <laughs> I didn't know that. Did you read it in the newspaper or something? That's crazy. I don't. I don't know this lady Goo Goo or so. Or I. I. I oh. haven't heard anything past you know the 1984 because those were the good days of music. Karen, you would not like her. I, I you should know. really look her up because you'll hate her, and I would love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> I, like, I like seeing things that I hate because it gives me something, you know, to, to do. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, move on to uh, one of our recurring segments on the show. Can I speak to the manager? <laughs> this week, our target is Target. Ah, uh, Target is closing its stores in Minneapolis because the looting that has been going on there after the murder of George Floyd. But Target, you can't give up so easily. Sure, it's Minneapolis today, but it could be here tomorrow. I need Target. We need Target. Buying cookware with sassy phrases on it is the only reason I wake up some days. So Target, here is what we propose. A series of Home Alone style booby traps that will render the protesters unable to loot anymore. For example, uh, put command strips on the ground so that protesters will get stuck to the floor. And then before they can pry themselves free, run around them with an extension cord so they get all tangled up and can't move. Mm. Take all the pens from the office supply section and dump them all on the floor and then set up large file cabinets at the end of each aisle. The protesters will lose their balance and fall back into the drawer and then you can lock them inside. Offer free samples of a new energy bar, but make the energy bars out of prunes and beans so that the protesters will all have to run home to poop. 
these, these are just a few of the tactics that we came up with, and we're not even professionals. So Target, please, step up your game. For all of us. For all of us, Target. Well, that's about it for our show this week. Thanks so much for tuning in, you Karen, Karen um, stands. That's what Braxton has been saying. I think that's like a word that means fans, but like they spelled it wrong or something. So it's a stand. Anyone, Karen, stand out yourself, but don't really out yourself. I don't mean in the homosexual sense. Karen, uh, does Braxton watch the show? Um, no, but he's he promote he sort of anti promotes it on Twitch. Oh, is his like gamer yeah. thing? Um, but you know, all press is good press, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching the show. We'll see y'all again next week. Bye. See you next week.